Welcome to Water Baby Tarot. This is a December crystal healing video for water signs. So for Scorpions, Cancerians, and Pisceans, I hope you guys are doing good and having a really awesome holiday season, even if you're catching me well into December. So I just want to give you a little rundown on how I do these videos. I use the Crystal Wisdom Healing Oracle deck to see what crystals are going to be good for you for the month of December. And then I go ahead and pull some tarot cards to see why you need those crystals. I don't go into a lot of detail. I don't like go into clarifiers or anything like that. It's just to give you a taste as to what's going on. Now, these are very, very general, very general. So that's also why I read the descriptions for the crystals for you guys. So you guys can make that own discernment on your own if you really need the crystals, if it really resonates with you or not. Now, if you decide it ain't for you, you don't need the crystals, then there you go. You save some money, okay? But if you decide you really want the crystals, but they, they're kind of not affordable, because let's be real, some crystals are really expensive and some are really, really affordable. Now, if you need one that's kind of expensive, you can actually get this deck and use the cards in lieu of the crystals, which I think is really cool, actually. Um, but yeah, let's just go ahead and get into it, okay? All right, so Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Who's going to go first? Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Scorpio, Cancer, Cancer. Cancer is interesting. Um, energetically I feel like you're really calling me but I feel like you're hiding at the same time now it is holiday season cancers you guys do like to be a little bundled up during the holiday season uh you like to be in your shell a little bit during the holidays you'll be around people just in your shell around people but anyway cancers you're calling me so let's go with you first what crystals do my cancerians need for the month of December what crystals do my cancerians need for the month of December What crystals do my Cancerians need for the month of December? Hmm. Some of you guys are going to be on a boat. I don't know why that's coming in really strong. Like, going to be on a boat? Or you know someone buying a boat? I feel like some of you guys are going to be actually out on the water. Depending on where you are, that might not be the greatest idea. But yeah, some of you guys are going to be out on the water for the holidays. That's kind of cool. I'm down for that. Some of you guys might even be going on a cruise. I'm just getting boat on the water. A boat on the water here. What crystals do my Cancerians need for the month of December? Cancer, is someone taking you for an emotional ride? Why do I feel like you're in a little bit of an emotional upheaval right now? Um, it doesn't feel bad necessarily. It just feels... I think someone triggered you or offended you. It just doesn't feel good. Like... Again, it's not like the worst thing you've ever been through. It's just like someone made you upset. Someone's making you upset here. Could be family. Let's be real. <laughs> Let's be real. It could be family. Okay. Uh oh wow, that was very quick. Oh, Mukai Jasper. Uh, who got this? Taurus got this. Taurus got this. Uh, we also have blue lace agate here. Ooh. Cancer, you might need to do some communicating, and it might be to family, okay? It might be to family, because I there's a lot of ancestral energy that I'm feeling here. Yeah, a lot of ancestral energy. I feel I feel like you're just going to have to like, I feel like someone's going to step to you wrong or say the wrong thing or try to get you to do something you don't want to do. And it does feel like it's a family member or it could be someone who's part of your tribe and you're just like, no, no, <laughs> like you just ha you just have to go there. But I don't think you're used to doing that with this person and it might make you emotionally upset. They might take it to a place that you're not used to them taking it because you're taking it to place they're not used to you taking it so it feels a little bit like you guys are going to be triggering each other okay so just be mindful of that what other crystals do my cancers need for the month of december what other crystals do my cancers need for the month of december yeah i feel like someone's stepping to you who usually asks a lot of you or just is not exactly very tactful with you or is not very like respectful that's what it is they don't show you the respect you deserve and maybe they did at one point and they got too comfortable it's almost the second time i was knocked that over and they just got a little too comfortable with how they approach you or the things they ask you for and finally you're just kind of like you're standing your ground a little bit and they're not used to that and I think it's triggering them and they're going to take it a step too far and that's going to trigger you. So yeah, it feels a little bit like that. A little bit of tit for tat going on here. What other crystals do my cancers need for the month of December? What other crystals do my can especially if you're dealing with Taurus because Taurus did have this. Like Taurus and a cancer, I, I'd, I'd watch out if, if you guys are going to step to each other like that. <laughs> Any other crystals for my cancers for the month of December? 
any other crystals for my cancers for the month of December? Oh, and then we got Citrine. Oh, very nice. Cancer, I'm not even that worried about you. All right, especially with these crystals coming out here. I mean, it's very indicative of having abundance coming your way or having something good coming your way. Oh. That might be part of the reason this person stepped to you like that. Cancer, you might have a good thing going with your work or just a good thing going in general that brings you abundance or brings you stability, brings you joy. And I feel like this person, not that they take from it, but it's like they feel like they can act a certain way with you because of it. And you might be coming into more and it's like this little like standoff is going to happen because of that. What other crystals do my cancers need for the month of December? Yeah, it's someone who does not respect your boundaries. Woo, Brandberg Amethyst. Yeah, boundaries. Okay, Cancer. Yeah, you got to put the boundaries of this person. Whatever you got going on in your life that brings you joy or abundance or, ju or just money, this person feels like they can treat you a certain way because of that already. They already feel that way. And this time around, whether because they know you're coming into more or it's just gone on for so long, they're just a little too damn comfortable asking you for certain things or talking to you a certain way. And I feel like you basically just give them some truth and they take it up a notch into a level they really shouldn't be taking it. And I feel like it's going to really hurt you. But you have good things coming your way regardless. But you're, I think you're going to feel the need to even protect yourself more from this person and retreat into your crab shell a little more. So let's go ahead and read these crystals off, okay? I don't really like that. All right. Mukite Jasper balances inner and outer experiences and encourages vers versatility and openness to new experiences, helping you to choose the right path. A powerful being, you have roots to go far back into the past. What you dreamed, you created. Reap rewards or rectify imbalances. Turn failure into a learning experience and start again. Remember to offer friendship to assist others who tread the same path. Your instinctive wisdom inspires them. Check your diet. Put your skills to use vigorously. Adventurous times lie ahead, so worry not. You are protected against deceit and enemies. Recognize your strengths. Stay positive and pragmatic. Reject unrealistic ideas. Avoid pride and despair. You have stamina, so wait patiently. If two courses of action are open, go for the straightforward one. A personal challenge such as, such as a job interview... <laughs> a presentation is successful. You are what you eat. Good nutrition with wholesome organic food sustains your well-being. The frequency of the sun is earthy to medium. Great for the earth star, the root, and the sacral. Great for Leos and drawing on ancestral wisdom. All right, now let's read Blue Lace Agate here. I'm just reading them in order that they came out in. Where's number 10? Okay. Blue Lace Agate, self-expression. Oh, the camera freaked out. Blue Lace Agate connects spirit and intellect, highlighting integrity and enhances the ability to communicate effectively what is in your mind and your heart. Attune to your inner being to express the fullness of who you are. Be confident when speaking in public as you have much to share. You may have been silenced in the past. Repressing thoughts and feelings causes throat problems. So speak your mind gently, honestly, and clearly. You have the gift of serenity, so use it wisely. Speak your heartfelt truth and integrity with confidence. Do not fear being judged. Expect news shortly and keep lines of communication open. Events unfold slowly here. Return to basics and start again if necessary. Focus your mind and open, it, and open your intuition. Your life will be long and happy. Accept your sensitive side. Expressing yourself fully releases neck and shoulder tension, thyroid deficiencies, and throat or lymphatic infections. The frequency of the stone is medium to high. Great for the throat, the third eye, the heart, and the crown. For Geminis and Pisceans and expressing yourself fully. Yeah, I feel like you're really going to be needing that in December. That's coming in really strong. Uh, let's see. Citrine. A stone of joy and abundance. Citrine helps you to interact creatively with the world. It promotes inner calm. You spend too much time worrying about home, family, and finances. Cancer, of course you would. <laughs> Uh, remember you're an abundant being who manifests what you need. You are an innocent, wise child who yearns to play. Joyful play creates a wonderful world. Be grateful for you are blessed. Accept constructive criticism. Become emotionally balanced, letting feelings flow naturally. Take time out for joyful play. Self-regard heals a damaged child. Abundance is all around you. You attract a success and prosperity. Stop worrying be optimistic and allow life to happen. Trust your intuition and perception. Consult the wise child within you. Your thoughts on the bigger picture are correct. If there is family discord, harmony is restored through praise. I'm going to repeat that last one because I feel like it definitely applies for a good amount of you. If there is family discord, harmony is restored through praise. 
True abundance comes from within. If you nurture your desires, you will bring joy to your wise child self. The frequency of the stone is high. Great for all the chakras, Aries, Geminis, Leos, and Libras, and embodying abundance. All right, now let's read this last one off here. It's eluding me. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> ah, hold on. Get this. Book. There you go. There you go. Bra uh, Brandenburg Amethyst, the perfect blueprint, a master healer. The Brandenburg Amethyst holds the perfect blueprint of your soul and all that is. It heals physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, karmic, planetary, and ancestral auric layers and imprints the most perfect energetic pattern possible. You are a being of pure consciousness and are wonderful just the way you are. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. I don't know why that's hitting me in the heart space so much, Cancer. I think this person, for those dealing with this person, for whoever this resonates for, they might make you feel less than a lot. They might make you feel like you never do enough for them. And that's a truth you might have to communicate to them because even if you've tried in the past, I actually don't think you have. I don't think you have said it to them. But if you have, it wasn't really heard because it wasn't really received. It wasn't like it didn't penetrate. It's something that really needs to be said, okay? All right. Embrace the clarity of your core being. Let go of mental con constructs, karmic imprints, soul imperatives, and relationships that no longer serve. Heal the past. Reframe previous choices that you have ha made in your life and take a new pathway to step into your soul purpose and expand higher dimensions of your soul. You are perfect exactly as you are in this present moment. Step onto your soul path and seed your future with potential. Self-discipline and clear focus brings your dreams to fruition. Aim for the highest. You are perfect exactly the way you are. Wow, that repeated like three times in this. You're perfect exactly the way you are. The frequency of the stone is extremely high. Great for all the chakras and for seeing the perfection in each moment. Oh, Cancer. Some of you, this person has caused you some toxic energy, whether you realize it or not. And for some of you, it has turned into physical ailments. And like, maybe it's something you've been struggling with for a while, but you've gotten really used to it. And it's just like, oh, it's just there. It's just there. It's just there. It's fine. Like, I just take this or I just do that. You shouldn't be feeling that way. <laughs> you shouldn't have that physical ailment. Like, it's okay to acknowledge that, oh, this might be a cause of something spiritual, not something physical, and you don't have to live with it. Because I do feel for some of you, there's like a, a small, minor physical ailment or recurring thing that you have to deal with physically. And it's from toxic energy from this person, from the way they approach you or what they expect of you or the way that they talk to you. And for some of you, this is someone who has either plagued a trigger or wound of yours or caused it of not feeling enough or not feeling like you're great as you are, like not feeling like you can be accepted as you are. Oh, cancer. <laughs> okay, let's get into this. I mean, it is four, so I don't expect it to be a super smooth ride. Either way, you also got a lot of awesome shit coming your way too. So just also know that, oh, cancer, some of you are not going to enjoy your blessings because of this wound. This shit's got to get addressed. Let's address it. Let's address it so you can have fun and enjoy your life, okay? Why do my cancers need these crystals for the month of December? Why do my cancers need these crystals for the month of December? Why do my cancers need these crystals for the month of December? Uh, why do my cancers need these crystals for the month of December? Why do my cancers need these crystals for the month of December? Ooh, we got an emperor in reverse. We got a control freak on the board. Someone who likes to control shit. This could be a, a, a father figure, or a grandfather figure, or a boss even. It's usually someone who's like head honcho in some regard. Either they have their own business or they manage a family or they head the head of a family, head of a company, or they've just built up a lot of shit in their life or they've gone through a lot of stuff. But it's usually someone older, but doesn't have to be. This person's very controlling, whoever they are. They're very controlling. Yeah, honestly, some of you have issues with your dad or a parent. Why do my cancers need these crystals for the month of December? Why do my cancers need these crystals for the month of December? Why do my cancers need these crystals? Ace of Swords. 
speak in truth. Having truth and under, having the truth and understanding and communicating that, like Cancers, you already know how you feel about this person. You already know how they've made you feel and you've been putting up with it and not speaking the truth. It's time to speak the truth because you already know it. You already know it. It's time to just let them know. It's time to let them know. It's time to be a little bit firm here and be like, this movie made me feel. This is how you talk to me. And I'm not cool with it. And I'm not cool with it. This person actually I think already knows too. I think this person already knows too, like the way they act. Oh, what? Oh, jeez. <laughs> Sorry, I was like, I thought my cat was calling me and he's just, he's a giant ass spider on the wall. Oh, thank you for giving my attention to that. Uh... I'm sorry guys, I don't mean to get so distracted. I just wanna to look to see if it's a poisonous one. So just give me a second. I know, thank you. Oh, oh, he's a doozy. Oh, it might be. Um, Give me a second guys, I gotta get the spider. Scoop, scoop, scoop. Oh, and it's 5.55 on the stove. <laughs> guys, it's literally 5.55 on the stove, okay. Sorry, give me a minute. I gotta get this bad boy before he gets away from me. I don't know if I can catch him to bring him outside. Oh, I hate spiders. Okay, no, I don't hate them. I just, oh, okay, dude, here we go. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. All right. Sorry, guys. I had to deal with that. But seriously, spider on the wall, 555 as I'm doing your reading. So take that as did some pretty intense synchronicities. Spiders are actually very auspicious. They're really positive omens. Also indicative of, of a guide. If for some people really believe that, some really people take that, some people really take that to heart. But it is a very positive, positive energy um, or totem to come across. Anyway. All right, Cancers. Why do my Cancers need these crystals for the month of December? Why else do my Cancers need these crystals for the month of December? Ew. So the devil came out sideways. This could go 50-50. This could go either way, Cancer. Capricorn energy here. Yeah, it could go either way. Um, I feel like you're breaking karmic energy with you and this person. Sorry, now that I saw a spider, I'm like, what's crawling on me? <laughs> ah, um, I feel like it was representing karma and toxicity and codependency, a very toxic karmic loop. You can cut that with this person. You don't have to stay trapped in that. And I think some of you guys will try. Others, you really need to try because I think some of you are going to shy away from doing that because it came out sideways. I mean, I felt that it was like, oh, shit, some of my cancers are going to do it. Some of my cancers are not going to do it. But it's time to face that devilish energy between you and this person they got you stuck in something even if it's just a wound or it's karma between the two of you it's got to be severed okay i like now i have the creepy crawlies sorry guys <laughs> why else do my cancers need these crystals for the month of december let's see here whoa ace of cups in verse and ten of pentacles virgo energy Cancer, like I said, you're coming to some amazing things. This is why you have to cut it. This is why you have to cut it. You got to cut this karmic loop with this person, whoever they are to you. It could even be like a, an ex-husband or, or an ex-wife or an ex-boyfriend or ex-girlfriend. They don't have to be a man just because it's the emperor. But it's someone who's really, really, really controlling and really domineering. Could even be really possessive, okay? You got to cut this because good shit's trying to come in and this is taking up space. Ace of Cups in Reverse, you might miss this. And it's something that would bring you a lot of joy and a lot of happiness. You're already in a good place, Cancer. But look what's trying to come in for you. And it can't come in. It's delayed because you need to cut away from this devil. You need to cut away from this possessive person, this controlling person, this domineering person, or at least get closure from the wounds they might have caused you. If this is like a childhood wound and you need to face this person if, you, if they're still alive. If they're not alive, you can always just write write it all down or um speak it into ether in like a meditative session and do that inner healing but for those of us as a living person you gotta cut it you gotta cut it because you don't want to miss out on this 
You really don't want to miss out on this. And overall energy, we do have Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Virgo energy could also be Earth or Fire. So yeah, there is no movement regarding this Ten of Pentacles to come in. Because this hasn't been cut yet. It's got to be cut, Cancer. It's got to be cut. Okay, let's move on. Sorry about the spider. <laughs> it's like, thank God for Clyde. I can't believe I almost missed that guy. I wonder where he came from. He must have come from the floor, which now is like creeping me out. I'm sorry. I just got to do one check. I'm sorry. I just, I have to. Um... No, yeah, no. I'm actually really allergic to spider bites. So, and I've gotten quite a few since I've lived here. Anyway. <laughs> okay, Cancer, that was yours. <laughs> All right. Pisces or Scorpio? Pisces or Scorpio? Pisces or Scorpio? Pisces or Scorpio? Mm, who am I doing next? Who am I doing next? Scorpio, you're up next. You're up next. What crystals do my Scorpios need for the month of December? Getting a really weird energy off of you, Scorpio. A really weird energy. Uh, what crystals do my Scorpios need for the month of December? I'm getting like paralysis. I don't, I'm not trying to, <laughs> I feel like some of you guys got scared for a second. I'm not predicting anything. I'm not predicting like medical ailments that will befall you. I'm not, I'm not predicting that. Uh, no, it just feels like paralyzed by overwhelm paralyzed by pain you know it's interesting Scorpios because you actually have that effect up effect on people you you like tend to paralyze people people tend to get very stuck on you or you tend to like paralyze people with your words um I'm getting yeah I'm getting paralysis total paralysis I don't like that though I'm like yeah that's what it that, it's just what I'm getting. It's just what I'm getting. What crystals do my Scorpios need for the month of December? You might be spending a lot of time just being still, Scorpio, and spending a lot of time meditating. Try not to get distracted by anything. Yeah, try not to move too much. Some of you guys might just be doing that, but I, I really feel like, yeah, I really feel paralysis by overwhelm. I'm feeling mostly paralysis by overwhelm. What crystals do my Scorpios need for the month of December? What crystals do my Scorpios need for the month of December? What crystals do my Scorpios need for the month of December? Oh, Shiva Lingam. Okay, Scorpio. I like this one. So it's interesting that I'm, I was getting a little bit of that meditative energy of like, I think you're just, you know, you could just be staying still in meditation. I think you're trying to align yourself, Scorpio. I think a lot of shit is going on in your life in December. And you're trying really hard to be able to ground yourself and, and handle it. So I think you're spending a lot of time grounding to be aligned and balanced to handle what's coming. Experience a lot of change, Scorpio. A lot of change. What other crystals do my Scorpios need? You also could be coming into alignment with someone. All of a sudden I'm getting a lot of sexual energy. You could be coming into alignment with another person, okay? What other crystals do my Scorpios need for the month of December? Smoky Quartz Celestial. Oh, that's a great stone for you guys. Smoky Quartz is one of your stones, actually. Yeah, I think you're just trying to stay grounded, handle the changes that are happening around around you and in your life. I feel like a lot of changes happening for you, Scorpio. And some of you, one of these one of these changes for some is aligning with another person. What other crystals do my Scorpios need for the month of December? What other crystals do my Scorpios need for the month of December? Nirvana Quartz. Okay, Scorpio. All right, let's get these read off for you. Yeah, I just want a lot of shit's going down, Scorps. A lot. I'm going to read them in the order they came out in. Okay. Shiva Lingam. A Shiva Lingam embodies the wisdom of the deities brought to earth. It symbolizes uniting dualities and manifesting the creative force be compassionate with yourself to heal you have masculine and feminine and other dualities within your being integrate these to release your creative power a shiva lingam is produced from the from the tumbling waters life shapes you in the same way so go with the flow soul scoring reveals your divine core if you are hurt or abused be compassionate with yourself to create healing on all levels get back to basics and put passion back into your life honor your libido and create a fire create balance expect a new relationship or revitalize an old one practice sexual magic cut ties where appropriate and remember you create the power of 
you create through the power of thought. Everything passes and a turbulent time unexpected benefits emerge. True relationship. Oh, sorry, nasal chakra for a second. True relationship transcends earthly experience. It is rooted in soul unification and unconditional love. The frequency of the stone is earthy and high. It's great for the root, the sacral, and the crown, and for activating the rise of kundalini energy. Great for Scorpios and tran tran Jesus. <laughs> tantric union of opposites. Ooh, Scorpio, you're going to have a nice one, December. I think it's actually going to be kind of hard, but I think it's also going to be really fun. <laughs> a lot of hard work and a lot of hard play, Scorpio. All right, smoky quartz celestial, transmutational magic, a stone for karmic healing. Smoky quartz celestial opens into different dimension and brings powerful transmutation. You have a powerful survival instinct and ability to go where others dare not. Transmute the past, realize the darkness is not evil. Facing your deepest fears turns into golden gifts. You know that, that death is only a transformation into another state of being. Take responsibility for your life. Don't let others take control. Be patient. Much stirs beneath a calm surface. Total transformation is close. It may entail a trip into the underworld. Your shadow becomes your brightest gift. Toxic emotions turn to positive regard. Ground your efforts in the everyday, but retain contact with higher realms. Success comes through dedication and trust in your abilities. Mentors are available. Release yourself from old enchantments. No part of you is evil or bad. Embracing your shadow leads you to healing hidden in the hidden. Jesus, leads you to healing hidden in the dark reaches of yourself. The frequency of the stone is exceptionally high. Great for the earth star, the root, the sacral, the soul star, and the stellar gateway for Scorpios, Cappies, and total transmutation. Very nice, Scorps. All right, now let's read Nirvana Quartz, and then we'll pull some tarot cards. Nirvana Quartz, Enlightenment. Nirvana Quartz assists in stepping off the karmic wheel bringing light and bliss consciousness. For many lifetimes you've been working with your karma, that has now passed. There is no need for restitution nor punishment or guilt. Let those go so that you recognize your full potential, receiving a download of cosmic light that transforms your being. Step off the karmic round and allow the karma of grace to manifest. Open yourself to receive enlightenment. Recognize this as a new begin recognize this as a new beginning and fresh energy. If you are experiencing traumatic times and soul challenges, Relax and wait for resolution. Do not push against the river. Go with the flow. Karma is created in each moment by every thought and deed. Uplifting thoughts and positive actions ensure your future well-being. The frequency of the stone is exceptionally high. Great for the crown, Pisceans, and embodying enlightenment on earth. Sorry, I just started getting a weird pain in my leg. Hold on. I'm like, did I get a bit by a spider? No. Okay, that's weird. Yeah, that's weird. Like, my, my left leg's all tingly and shit. Maybe that's for someone, or maybe you have a certain something. I don't know. I don't know why I'm feeling that, but it's very weird. Okay. All right, Scorps, let's go into this. Why do my Scorpios need these crystals for the month of December? Why do my Scorpios need these crystals for the month of December? Yep, Scorpio. All of a sudden, I got really hot. Uh, some of you might be having a Kundalini awakening. Shit, why is it like, like my breath is getting taken away? Um, some of you might be meeting a catalyst. Others of you are gonna be meeting someone who's going to trigger the like, it's not, I can't even say it's the last bits because healing never ends, but like triggering and bringing up some deep dark shit within yourself and it's gonna help you into integrate your shadow. But for some of you, this this is could be a really intense romantic situation or even a, a potential, potential, Lifelong partnership is just what I'm getting intuitively. Scorpios, this is about to be a crazy time, okay? <laughs> Why do my Scorpios need these crystals for the month of December? Why do my Scorpios need these crystals for the month of December? Why do my Scorpios need these crystals for the month of December? Why do my Scorpios need these crystals for the month of December? Why do my Scorpios need these crystals for the month of December? Why do my Scorpios need these crystals for the month of December? Oh, interesting. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Virgo energy could also be earth or fire. Someone's not budging. Total standstill total standstill here yeah total standstill okay uh, 
Scorps, for some of you, this could be this could have been going on for a long time. Whether someone's been really stubborn with you, or totally stagnant, or you could feel like you've been stuck for a long time. For some of you, this this sexual energy I'm feeling is between you and someone you already know. But most of you, I feel like it's someone new. For most most of you, I do feel like it's someone new. Why do my Scorpios need these crystals? For the month of December, uh, some of you who are meeting someone new, it's going to help you heal wounds from a previous relationship or most recent encounter. That's weird. Most recent encounter. Why do my Scorpios need these crystals for the month of December? Why do my Scorpios need these crystals for the month of December? Why do my Scorpios... Oh, that's a lot of cards, Spirit. That's a lot of cards. Am I really taking these? Okay. They're saying yes. Okay. So we have four cards that came out here, and then we got another one that came out. Temperance, Sagittarian Energy, Three of Cups in a Verse with the Hangman in a Verse, Pisces, and then we have the Page of Wands in a Verse. Temperance being here, I feel like it's about healing. Scorpio, I feel like this is a wound that's got to be healed, and it's got to be healed for your spiritual growth here and your spiritual expansion. I feel like you were you had gotten some bad news that someone maybe didn't want a reconciliation with you or didn't want to try didn't want to try and you're needing to heal that you're needing to heal that but then we have a four of wands here which is stability in a possible relationship but this needs healing this really needs healing it feels like it was like truly bad news truly upsetting bad news that someone would just wasn't gonna try or just didn't want to move towards you but then right after that healing that right after healing that we have stability let's see what else wants to come out here Why else do my Scorpios need these crystals for the month of December? Why do my Scorpios need these crystals for the month of December? Why do my Scorpios need these crystals for the month of December? Let's see what we have here. Wow. Ooh. Justice with the five of wands. And then we've got the wheel of fortune. Oh, yeah, Scorps. It's going to be just fine. It's gonna be just fine. Like I said, for some of you who are meet, like some of you are meeting a new person, some of you are dealing with an old person here, and it's to heal some shit that hurt. The whole situation that I'm picking up in December of all this sexy sacral energy, it's to heal this shit. It's to heal feelings of rejection. Um, I'm also getting for some this bad news was found out through other people, like through gossip. Like someone didn't even tell you what was up. Yeah, someone didn't even tell you what was up. It's almost like someone just like kind of bounced or pushed you to the side or and I feel like they weren't honest about it I feel like there's a lot of dishonesty about it you're going to be healing this and healing the stack this stagnancy that some of you are experiencing others it's basically finding out that someone did not want to come forward to, to you and this person in December that's being highlighted in December is going to help you heal that okay and then we move into this shit <laughs> I'm sorry. I love this. Uh, the four, four of wands with justice, the five of wands and uh, wheel of fortune, Jupiter energy. The wheel is turning in your favor. There's a lot of great stuff coming in here. The fact that you have the four of wands and justice tells me that you're going to have a very balanced um, home life or possible balanced relationship coming in here to help you. The five of wands is what's really catching my attention though. Five of Wands is usually people who are very upset, okay? People who have a lot to say about it, people who are annoyed, people who are irritated. And I feel like for those who are entering into, into a new relationship, one that you deserve, by the way, people are upset. People are upset and they're upset at the abundance that it's bringing to you, but oh well, oh well, oh well. It's what you deserve. And honestly, after healing this stuff, this feels really gross. I gotta be honest, it feels really yucky. I don't even think it's the worst thing you've ever been through, Scorpio, but I think Yeah, it's definitely not the worst thing you've ever been through, but it's kind of just like, I feel like it was a wound that came in at a lot after the end of a long string of wounds. And I think you were just tired and it was just like, I don't want to deal with this right now. Like, I've dealt with a lot of shit. Can I just have a, t oh my God, Scorpios, we're not going there. You're making me emotional. I've dealt with a lot of shit. I don't want to have to deal with this. <sighs> Scorpio. But everything's going to be just fine. <laughs> like I said, everything's going to be just fine. You're going to work through this. You're going to work through this healing. For most of you, it's it's via a new person. 
okay? I do feel a lot of you are going to be spending time in meditation. Like I said, that's going to also help you heal. You're going to have to go through the underworld. You didn't want to deal with the Scorpio because it was just, like I said, it's not the worst thing you've ever been through. But it was just like another thing at the end of a string of other things. And it's just like, I'm fucking tired. I'm emotionally tired. I'm tired of having to deal with this kind of shit. So you put it on the back burner. It's time to take it off the back burner. It's time to cross it off the to-do list. And you're going to really be really happy you did. I feel like it's really allowing for stability in your life and possibly a really awesome new relationship. And definitely the wheels turning. People are going to be upset about it. Let them be upset. Let him be upset. Overall energy, we do have nine of one, yeah, nine of wands in a verse with the ace of swords in verse. You haven't been wanting to face it. Because why? Because you're tired. You're emotionally tired. You've been wounded a lot, Scorpio. I, I'm feeling it from you. You've been wounded a lot and it's just like, I've done a lot of work on myself. I deserve a break. I think some of you guys even told yourself that. I deserve a break from working on myself. I'm putting this on the fucking back burner. Well, you got to cross off the list now. But yeah, you've just been kind of avoiding it a little bit, Scorpio. And Scorpios, you usually don't avoid going there and feeling the pain. I just think it, it was a lot. Whenever this came in, it was just a lot. And you just had enough. And now you're surrendering to that, that thing that you've been ignoring, right? So, Scorps, it's going to be fine. It's going to be just fine okay oh scorpios all right last but not least pisces 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 how are my pisceans doing what crystals do my pisceans need for the month of december what crystals do my pisceans need for the month of december what crystals do my pisceans need for the month of december trying to get in your energy Pisces Pisces I love your energy it always feels like just so it always just has like sense of, such a sense of authenticity to it that I always really like it does drain me a little bit though I'll be honest with you I'll be honest with you Pisces I'll be honest with you it does drain me a little bit and sometimes it's hard for me to get in there what crystals do my Pisceans need for the month of December hmm. what crystals do my Pisceans need Oh, understanding. I'm getting understanding. What crystals do my Pisceans need for the month of December? What crystals do my Pisceans need for the month of December? Let's see here. Ooh, we got Labradite. Okay, I'm liking that. I'm liking that. You guys are trying to understand a situation or understand a certain person here. Ooh, polychrome jasper. Oh my goodness, ain't that pretty. Very earthy stone. I, yeah, I just, Pisces, I feel like you're really in your upper chakras right now, or at least in December, really up in your upper chakras. I feel like you're trying to see farther than you need to. That's interesting. Yeah, I feel like you're trying to see farther than you need to. Because you, you feel like you're missing pieces of the puzzle in the situation you're finding yourself in. Almost like you don't feel comfortable with what's going on because there's too much ambiguity. And it's like, I kind of need some more information. I need more information. I need more information. But I don't think you actually do. What other crystals do my Pisceans need for the month of December? What other crystals do my Pisceans need for the month of December? What other crystals do my Pisceans need for the month of December? Last card out. I can't ever say this one. A joint? A joint? A joint day. A joint. I think I'm just going to say a joint. I don't pronounce all these properly. I apologize. But I show them to you. So you know how they're spelled. So you can go and find them where you need to find them. I love crystals, but I've never been good with words. I've never been that person to be really good with words. So anyway, guys, let's just get into it. I'm going to read them in order. All right, Labradite. The mind's eye. Labradite raises your consciousness to connect to mystical dimensions and the highest protective energies. It strengthens your faith in yourself and aids intuitive guidance. You are an intuitive being with the gift of foresight. Keep yourself grounded. The veil between the worlds is thin. You could easily confuse yourself with imaginings. Aim for clear insights. Hold on to common sense. It is your most effective 
tool in assessing intuitions and acting on those that are valid. Beware psychic vampires. Ensure that you do not have a leaky aura. You face a temporary setback, but a sudden reversal of fortune is possible. Be careful with what you wish for. It may come true. Raise your consciousness to the highest levels. Labradite indicates capricious love. Giving your energy away is bad for your health. Establishing an efficient interface with the outside world will protect your well-being. The frequency of the stone is high. Great for the third eye and the crown. And for Leos, Scorpios, and Sagis, and opening the inner eye. Um, aqua, I, aqua, that's so weird I called you aqua. Is aqua here? No, that's so weird. Maybe you guys have an aqua placement. Um, Pisces. Aqua. Uh, I feel compelled to talk a little bit about some of the energy we're in for the first half of December. It's going to be with us for most of December, but it's really potent the first half of a lot of change. A lot of change. So Pisces, you might feel like things are being taken away from you or your road is your road ahead is suddenly becoming really unclear because things are changing around you and it's making you feel very uncertain and maybe a little not so confident in what's going on and really wanting to see farther ahead for yourself to have all the answers. But these changes that are happening during this time are really good for us. They're putting us in a really, really good... He's being mischievous. They're putting us in a really good spot to have really awesome things come our way. So the change that's happening, it might feel sudden, it might feel out of the blue. You might not have even seen it coming, whatever changes are happening, but it's good stuff. It's to bring in good stuff. So just keep trusting that. I really feel a major seeking of answers that I feel it might even be unnecessary. But let's keep going. Polychrome Jasper, belonging. Polychrome Jasper is a shaman stone that assists with traveling between worlds, offering protection while you travel. It helps you to remember why you are living on Earth. You belong to a greater group, be it a family or a clan. If you feel isolated, reach out to others out of strength rather than neediness. The stone offers you security. For companionship, choose an animal ally. Ground your efforts in the practical, everyday world. You have the gift of meditation and see all sides of an issue. Big changes are in the offing. Concentrate on practical outcomes. Be down to earth, but pay attention to dreams. Balance your emotional energies and nurture yourself to find joy. Find your power ally and stay under its protection and guidance. Give assistance to others who seek freedom. Guard against giving away your power. Dis-ease arises out of ancestral distress carried in DNA. Healing and forgiveness sent, sent down your family line. Replace this with well-being. Ah, excuse me. The frequency of the sun is earthy. It's great for the spleen, the earth star, and great for Leos, Libras, and Aquas. That's funny because I said you Aquarius, you're Aquarius. Integration and reconnection. All right, now let's read this last one and then we'll get into the, some tarot cards here. Okay. Oh, there we go. Adjoit, compassionate being. Adjoit brings about a profound spiritual revelation. Drawing out karmic wounds, this crystal reframes cellular memory and past contracts. You are a being of infinite love and compassion. Find your core of ultimate peace and universal love. Release your toxic emotions, replacing them with forgiveness, compassion, and serenity. What you have been through allows you to appreciate the pain of another's path. Do not absorb their pain. Remain dispassionate. Detach gracefully and move on. Put down your burdens, knowing you are a being of light. Resolve conflicts and forgive those who wounded you. Give someone a second chance. Honor your promises. Find the best solution for everyone. Let your dispassionate compassion... <laughs> <laughs> encompass all charity or volunteer work is indicated immersing yourself in the love of the divine acts automatically leads to health and happiness the frequency of the stone is exceptionally high great for the third eye the crown the heart the throat and the soul star for virgos and aquarians <laughs> and keeping an open compassionate heart some of you might be strong cuspers or have strong aqua placements here um but yeah let's go ahead pisces and dig into this a little bit see why you need these crystals Why do my Pisceans need these crystals in the month of December? Why do my Pisceans need these crystals for the month of December? Why do my Pisceans need these crystals for the month of December? I literally just heard fish out of water. <laughs> I thought that was so funny. That was really cute, spirit. A fish out of water. Okay. Like I said, you're not like you're not feeling too awesome about some of the changes that are happening. I think just because you couldn't see them coming, very indicative of the kinds of changes we're experiencing now. No matter how intuitive you are, you're not going to see all the changes that are going to be happening. One of my Pisceans need these crystals for the month of December. One of 
Why do my Pisceans need these crystals? Ooh, Ace of Wands. Okay, I love that. Your creative energy is crazy right now, which I love. I love. Neptune's doing a lot of stuff. Oh, and the lovers on the bottom. Hmm. Pisces, what's going on? So we got a lot of passion on the board. I'm loving this for you. I'm so loving this for you. A passionate new start here. I feel it's creative energy though. I feel like it's mostly creative energy. Why do my Pisceans need these crystals for the month of December? Come on, come on. Let's see what we have here. Ooh, Ace of Cups. Three of Pence in reverse, Capricorn energy, Ten of Cups in reverse, Piscean energy, and then we have a Queen of Cups, Cancerian, Kills me, Pisces, or Scorpio. Definitely feel like that's your energy, Pisces. This is really interesting. For some of you, this is a restart. A restart. Because look at this shit. Ace of Wands with the Ace of Cups. That's 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 love and passion. Love and passion right out of the gate. But then we have a Three of Pentacles in reverse and a Ten of Cups in reverse. This is not dealing with people or being alone. Being alone, right? Coming in right next to you, Pisces. Oh, Pisces, some of you feel kind of alone here, okay? You've either distanced yourself or people have been distancing themselves from you and you're wondering why. But with the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups, I mean, this is love and passion for life. For life or for someone. I feel like someone feels this way about you. But it looks like you're not dealing with anybody right now. Like you're very alone right now. Interesting. Let's keep it going. Why do my Pisceans need these crystals? Two of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. Needing to make a decision. Why do my Pisceans need these crystals for the month of December? Oh, well, now we've got an Emperor. Aries energy, Taurus could also be uh, Mars. It's also Mars, right? Uh, Divine masculine energy. This person needs to make a decision, Pisces. You could, be, you could be this emperor, you could be this queen of cups, decide how you feel about it. But whoever this queen of cups is, it seems like you. Whoever this queen of cups is, Pisces, like I said, I do feel like it's you. Like not really dealing, dealing with people or you've been recently left alone. But there's an emperor that's needing to make a decision about something who's connected to you. And I feel like it's in regards to a very passionate, loving start here. Why do my... Why do my Pisceans leave these crystals? Sorry, I got a couple cards out here. Why do my Pisceans leave these crystals for the month of December? Oh, I see what's going on, Pisces. Now we have the Four of Pentacles, Cappy, with the Knight of Swords, Gemini, close to the air or fire. There's basically someone communicating what they're not letting go of. What they are not letting go of. Pisces, I feel like the information you're trying to grasp is what this emperor is going to do. That's what you want to find out. That's what you're trying to figure out. Something's changed in December or recently, as, in, as I'm doing the reading, something has recently changed or will be changing about your home environment where you're feeling more alone or feeling like no one's on your side, feeling like no one's got your back. And you're finding it a little hard to deal with. All the while, there's an emperor here who's, who's in the middle of making a decision and you know that and I feel like that's what you're trying to understand. What decision are they going to make? What is this emperor going to do? And then we have a four of pentacles with the knight of swords. Someone's going to be communicating about something they can't let go of. Overall energy, we have the king of swords. Aquarian, <laughs> could also be Gemini or Libra. I feel like this is just about trying to gain understanding of the situation at hand. I feel like this is your energy. Again, whether you're a man or a woman, this is the energy you're harnessing, okay? You're in your feels about the recent changes in your home environment. And you know an emperor needs to make a decision in regards to you. And you want information on that. You want to know what's going to happen. We can't always know what's going to happen, Pisces. We can't always know. And you're very intuitive. So I know you're used to kind of knowing or, or used to kind of having an inkling of what's going to happen. We can't always know. But there will be communication. There will be communication. You're craving it, though, Pisces. I feel like that's what you're craving. You're craving a, new, a start with this person. And this person has to decide if they... if. They have to decide. They have to decide. And you're just like, what's going to happen? <laughs> what's going to happen? What are they going to do? What's going to happen? What's going to happen? What's going to happen? You got to take care of you, Pisces. You got to take care of you. You got to take care of calming yourself within your, your the changes within your home environment um, or the changes within your recent uh, tribal environment. For some of you, this is tribal, like your family or your actual soul tribe, people you, you consider family or people that you share a, a home with. Either way, Recent changes where you don't feel like anyone's got your back. You're waiting for this emperor to do something. You want to know what they're going to do. 
I feel like these recent changes are prompting you to be in a position of needing to, of needing to do other things. Like these changes are making you feel like I can I got to do something about this. I got to do something about this or maybe I can go do this, maybe I can go do that. Like putting in change to the change. Like this feels familiar. I feel like I've had this energy before in a reading I did sometime the last few days. <laughs> I've done a lot of reading readings the last few days. But yeah, Pisces, it's like changes happening within your environment and you're like, "Okay, I can cause change, but there's something about a decision an emperor has to make that you you kind of want to see what's going to happen with them first. I feel that. You want to see what's going to happen with them first, so you're trying to figure it out. We can't always know. But this is what you're craving. That's what you're craving. But we can't always know, Pisces. Oh, okay. I hope you guys found that insightful and helpful. I hope you guys also have a really great holiday season and a great December and a great rest of your November. And I will see you guys later. I will definitely see you before 2020. So don't worry, you're going to see my face again soon, specifically for these monthly, uh, monthly healing videos. Okay. All right, guys, take care and have a great night. Namaste.